Trust should empower people, trust should not limit people. These things will create expectations which no human being can fulfill. Don't get into this dog tag kind of trust. Trust should be a way of liberating people, isn't it? Namaskaram Sadhguru, uh, this is regarding trust. Like, uh, suppose a person uh, broke the trust several times, how can we uh, trust him again? If you're stupid, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> you need to understand, trust does not mean somebody has to behave the way you expect them to behave. Trust means whatever they do, it's all right with you, if you've come to such a state. Otherwise, don't use such a big word as trust. Trust means they must do what you expect them to do. This is a certain imprisonment you trust. Trust should empower people, trust should not limit people, isn't it? So your idea of trust is to hold them in the way you want them to be. So you trust, betrayal, this, that works. Don't get into all this nonsense, just use your sense. See, this is the biggest mistake they have made. They always told you to be good. Tch. Once you're good, you have all these expectations from everybody else. See, first of all, they told you God is good, God is compassion, God is love, God is so many things. Leave what other people have told you. Let's say you know nothing of this nonsense from anybody, you paid attention to creation. You looked at a flower carefully. One thing you can see is, whatever created this is of tremendous intelligence, isn't it? Yes or no? Not necessarily something as pleasant as a flower, you pay an attention to an ant that's crawling around. The way it's made, incredible intelligence or no? Yes or no? But nobody told you God is intelligence. If they had told you God is intelligence, we would have had a more sensible world. So, <laughs> don't… don't get into all this trust business. Handle your life and relationships sensibly, because these things will create expectations which no human being can fulfill. And simply, struggles will happen, endless struggles will happen. Trust means, I trust somebody means, whatever they're doing, I trust them. No, I trust them means they must do only what I expect them to do. This is not trust, this is a soft imprisonment, you know. <laughs> In… it's still not come to India maybe, but everywhere else, they got… they got uh, collars for the dog, electronic collars. No more chains, the dog will be right there, it'll never leave the boundary because if it crosses that boundary, there'll be a shock. Okay? In America it's become very common. It runs around only in your garden, it won't run anywhere. No fence, no chain. But the dog cannot run out because if it steps out, why… why are you making faces? It's called Lakshman Rekha in India <laughs> If you cross that, there'll be trouble. So that's what she's talking about in the name of trust. If you cross it, there'll be trouble. Don't… don't get into this dog tag kind of trust. If you really trust somebody, whatever they do, they may be doing it in their own understanding of life. Everybody is working according to his intelligence and his understanding, isn't it? Yes? Right now probably that's all they're capable of. If you can evolve them to another place, fantastic. If you cannot, then you must see what to do. But do not bring in such words of trust. Trust should not become a way of capturing people, trust should be a way of liberating people, isn't it?